Hi there. So um, this is a video of me just um, doing some garden work. Um, nobody's home, so I just figured I'd plant some grass. Yeah, so earlier in the day, Abby and I were doing a little garden work. Um, we like planting, so we got some plantain. We also started planting some grass around the area. You know, it's just amazing how the Bible uses a lot of agricultural terms to help us paint a better picture of what we read in the Bible. Jesus always talks about being the vine, we are the branches. Paul talks about being rooted and grounded in Christ. And um, in Mark chapter 4, in the parable of the sower, Jesus talks about a sower who went out to sow seed and he sowed the first one on the path and birds came to eat it up. The next seed fell in a rocky place and it said it grew um, because the soil was shallow. As soon as the sun came up, it just scorched it. The next one fell amongst thorny plants and over there it says it couldn't really grow because the thorns choked it and then the last one fell on good soil and that's what produced 30 60 and 100 fold and later jesus explains this parable to his disciples what he tells them is that the soil is our hearts and the seed is the word of god so it's very important what we put within our hearts. There's nothing ever wrong with the seed. There's nothing ever wrong with the word of God that's being preached. It always has to do with our hearts, whether we've actually prepared our hearts to receive the word of God. And you know, planting something yourself and knowing this from the Bible really opens up your perspective to this some more. You realize that there are so many ingredients that go into making something grow. Um, Growth is not by accident. It's always intentional. It's always planned. And I mean, if you don't eat, you don't grow. It's as simple as that. Without good soil, without water, without sunlight, um, this plant, the grass will not grow. And of course, it also needs a whole lot of care and love and attention and removing all the weeds. I can already see a lot of weeds in between. Um, I'm just come to water them for now. When they grow a bit more, then I'm gonna remove all the weeds. And I think that's just a very good depiction of our Christian walk. Uh, as we are growing in the Lord, as we are putting in that effort to grow spiritually, and getting more used to prayer, getting more used to reading the word, getting more used to um, shepherding and taking care of others and helping others grow in the word of God. The more we do that, the more we grow. And as we are growing, a lot of things always come up with the growth. Okay, growth is never without any consequences. Growth means that you're gonna increase in size. You're gonna attract some things. There are some things which are gonna come your way just because you're growing. And I think that's one of the reasons why Jesus said that in this world you'd have many troubles. Because as long as you're in this world, we're actually here so that we can grow and mature and do what God needs us to do. You know, so I think as long as we're going to be in this world, we're going to have those challenges. We're going to have, um, let me say, weeds growing all around us. And it's important to remove those weeds. It's important, it's important that we have to be pruned get rid of those things that so easily beset us and which keep us back so we can grow and be exactly as God has designed us to be. I started planting this grass but I already know I'm gonna have challenges. Sometimes the sun is gonna scorch these guys. Um, the animals can even come and worry these guys. Chickens can come and start pulling them out to look for worms. Um, what have you? the weather, it can flood, there are so many things that come on the way but one thing is for sure that these grasses have to know that I am watching over them and I'm going to take good care of them by watering them and doing what I need to do for them to grow. That's why we need the word of God, you know. The word of God is, is life unto us, we are born of the word. So the more of the word of God we get, the more water these people get. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, they'll be able to overcome it and grow big and strong, 
exactly as I've designed them to do. I think this video is mainly kind of up people who are into ministry and people who want to do something for God. I think you would appreciate this video a lot. And if you are that kind of person, hey, subscribe, like, let's continue to share and grow in God and do more for him. I have other sheep here as well. These guys were transplanted um, some weeks ago, but we didn't really give them a lot of attention. And you can see they all look very yellowish and uh, they are all kind of falling to the ground. I'll take care of them much, much better. And I'll give you an update on them and see how they are doing. It's amazing how these guys grew without any efforts and without any permission. I didn't actually plant any of this. It just grew on its own. And I mean, it just goes to show that if you don't occupy your heart with something, if you don't intentionally do something about your heart, anything can grow on it. Anything can, you know, take seed and start growing. All the TV shows, all the things we see around us every single day, they always need to be weeded out. You know, that's why it's so important to always be connected to God's word. Be a, be a vine in God's garden. We are well taken care of and you're going to flourish and on that day God is going to be so proud of you. Uh, yeah, so I'll be updating the video of this and see how it goes. I'm going to water it, take care of it and I actually want it to spread throughout all this area. So let's see how it goes.